Once the Earth was thought to be the centre of the universe, with the planets and stars and the sun revolving around it. As observations improved, though, weird complications began to mess up this model, particularly the orbit of Mars. As the Earth goes around the Sun, Mars sometimes appears to move backwards as we overtake it. In a vain attempt to solve this problem, horrendously complicated circles within circles were created, tangling up the mathematics in an increasing kaleidoscope of endless overcomplexity. A few brave thinkers, and brave they had to be in those days, tried putting the Sun at the center of the solar system. Ah, then, everything fell into place at once. The crazy mess of the Ptolemaic system of circles within circles and equations piled upon equations evaporated in a moment. Only a few equations were now needed for perfect accuracy. The same simplicity and clarity and accuracy was revealed when navigators accepted that the world was round rather than flat, and when physicists accepted the Einsteinian argument that the speed of light is constant. Systems based on fundamental falsehoods always get more and more complicated as endless corrections and adjustments pile on in order to make them look more right. Every few generations these accumulated errors become so ridiculously complex that the entire system becomes unsustainable and kind of embarrassing. Even the non-expert grasps that something must be fundamentally wrong with the whole mess. And a few brave souls take out a blank sheet of paper, push aside all their prior preconceptions and start from scratch, based on reason and evidence rather than the accumulated errors of history. The central tenet of all systems of human morality is the non-aggression principle. We all learn it as children. Don't hit, don't push, don't hurt, don't steal. We learn that violence and bullying and threats are wrong, immoral, and only make whatever problem you're trying to solve worse. That's the rule we're taught when we're kids, and it's a good rule. Solid, logical, empirical, but then, when we get older, if we have the courage to see, we understand that this is not how adult society is run at all. In adult society, you have to pay a bunch of men and women your money, or they call on other men and women in blue costumes to come and take it. And if you try to defend yourself from this theft, they will shoot you. This is the reality of societies with governments. Your society. In statist societies, free exchanges between free adults that some people don't like can get you shot. If you get a job and try to avoid paying for a non-existent Ponzi retirement plan, you can be kidnapped and shot if you resist. If you break any of the hundreds of thousands of made-up rules about trade and barter, you get arrested. If you don't want to fund foreign dictators, you get arrested. If you don't want to pay for an evil war, you get arrested. And on and on and on and on. When we were kids, our teachers said, don't use violence. But if, as adults, we don't pay a government teacher's salary, we get arrested. As we grow up, the more we look around, the more we see that every law is a gun, and guns are everywhere in the adult world, and that using violence to get what you want is the foundation of the society we live in. So which is it? Is violence good? or bad. Our statist system has become so ridiculously complicated because it has, like the Earth-centered model of the solar system, a fundamental error right down at the root of it. This error is the belief that violence is the best way to solve complex social problems. 
the delusion that if you point enough guns at enough people, run up enough debt using the unborn as your collateral, kidnap and enslave enough free souls, that the world will just get better and better and better. How's that working out for us? The tax code. Aggressions against free trade and personal consumption, the endless multiplying laws governing every aspect of our waking lives, these are like the circles within circles of the Earth-centered model of the solar system. The only end to that increasing complexity is total collapse. When you recognize that increasing complications reveal core errors at the root of a false system, you will see that the non-aggression principle needs to move to the center of our virtues, of our morals, of our society as a whole. Like the sun itself, it needs to be fixed at the center of everything we do. The non-aggression principle cannot orbit a primitive, violent hierarchy that we actually inherited from apes and cavemen. Think of it. A society without organized violence. Without the threat of state coercion, without institutional kidnapping and theft and imprisonment, without taxation and the thieving predation of state fiat currency counterfeiting. Does that make you dizzy? It should. When the sun was moved to the center of the solar system, where it actually is, it was disorienting to everyone at the time. Just as the time and space relativity of Einsteinian physics was disorienting, just as evolution is disorienting to many, and quantum physics messes with the head of anyone who really grasps it. In the face of ancient falsehoods, the truth is often dizzying and confusing and alien and freaky. When we place the non-aggression principle where it should be, at the center of morality and society, beliefs we have held for tens of thousands of years suddenly evaporate. The ancient era of the morally justified state crumbles into its component atoms of evil. The dizzying and multiplying complexity of law upon law, gun upon gun, murder upon murder, all this ugly mess is revealed as hysterical attempts to cover up the core crime of justified institutional violence. The myth of the social contract is revealed as a gun to the necks of the unborn. Laws are exposed as well-armed prejudices. Taxation is revealed as theft, lobbying as bribery, arrest as kidnapping, governments and armies as the most successful criminal gangs, and schools as violence-fueled indoctrination camps for helpless and dependent children. It is disorienting. It is confusing. It is frightening. It is dizzying. And it is true. The sunlight of reason and morality and truth is essential. It must be at the center of everything we do. Because in society, just as in the world, the sun is either going up or it is going down. Perhaps to a night without another sunrise. Whether the dim light of our modern world is a sunset or a sunrise, that is up to you.